Guys, the hoax are here backstage on the Blues Festival in Prayer and they did a gig ago and the audience went crazy. So far, so good. You're the winner of the first day of the Blues Festival. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, that means that the crowd loved you. <laughs> How was it on stage? I saw you filming when uh, the cloud uh, <laughs> went wild. Yeah, I like to document these things, you know, it's a special occasion coming to a festival like this, and especially when the crowd's going going crazy like you say, it's great. I like I wanted to get it on my camera for my own personal video collection. John's personal videos are legendary. <laughs> This life on the road of the hoax wouldn't be the same without John's personal documentation, if you ask me. I look forward to it, seeing the, the compilation of the events that's happened throughout the thanks, days. Uh, thanks. It was a real road movie on the... Yeah, yeah. But uh, the, uh, the, the organisation of Prayer, they said there was a hole in our history in the blues, and that was the hoax never performed as in the festival, and they filled it up. Do you see that? Do you feel that the same way? The, the first show we ever did in in Europe was in Pier, and it was uh, I think it was at another venue. It was a smaller venue. We played with Little Charlie and the Night Cats and who else? G. <laughs> Robillard, was it? Yeah, G. Robillard. I think it was uh, part of the same organisation. It might have been like a fundraiser for the main festival or something. But then the whole ten years following that, uh, we never got to play the main festival itself and. Uh, that's something that Robin mentioned um, just yesterday. I think you know it's, it's it's kind of surprising we didn't ever play this festival, but we've uh, we've put that right now. And then you decided, after a couple of years, it is time to get all the guys together and get a reunion out with the hopes. First of all, go back a few years. Who decided? Well, we're going to give a call to all the guys. And, and I've seen a, a couple of films you play with a lot of guys. You never were angry to each other. There was no fight, but <laughs> there was no hoax. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I guess it was probably me originally getting everyone back together again. Um, but you know, I think everyone wanted to do it, so it wasn't a, a struggle to do it. I think everyone, everyone wanted to. So you have to trick anybody in through it. So if he said yes, he did it, and yeah, I, I don't think Hugh quite realizes we're here today. <laughs> it, the drugs will wear off later. It's, it's, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> but you know we've we've got them under control. But you know, you you are the most difficult to <laughs> to get the band together. Do you? First, you are reluctant to play again with the hoax. But now, uh, no, I was quite up for playing with the hoax, wasn't I? I can't remember. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. Have you seen your reaction today? You must be. Yeah, it was, it was great. It was really good. The audience were, were fantastic. Especially as I mean, like a lot of the gigs we've done uh, over the last um, couple of months. You, you're playing in front of people that haven't seen you for 10 years and people pull out t-shirts that they've kept for 10 years. You know, I mean, I never keep anything for 10 years. And uh, it's, it's, it's quite, you know, it's quite touching. You all got a great past in the blues as the hoax. Individually got all your own projects. Is there any future again for the hoax? Well, this is something we've not really. Uh, there, there are no major plans at the moment in the future. But you know, you never know. I like to think that we'll we'll play together again and tour together again. We're still, in blues terms, we're still pretty young, you know. So, uh, if you see, see the wall of death in the inside, <laughs> the wall of death. <laughs> we'll be there one day, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, like I say, even though we've been knocking around for quite a long time, we, you know, we're still all pretty young and we're all busy doing our own stuff, so it's difficult getting everybody together. But uh, I personally like to think that we will at some point in the future. It's the most, if you said we were going to interview the hoax, that's the question everybody asks. If you yeah. <laughs> or we will probably come up with our own with that. We're going to remain, remain enigmatic on that subject for the time being. That's that's a nice job for a manager to book you. <laughs> Trouble is we manage ourselves. Trouble is we manage ourselves. <laughs> what the most bands do with the internet and all. Um, next year, the second reunion tour. You got a lot of albums. Yeah. We had an anniversary coming up. Yeah, maybe we'll do like a best of. We'll do like a. <laughs> maybe we'll do a worst of. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll find another excuse to get together. Yeah, actually. yeah. I mean, doing gigs like this one here today and seeing the audience, they were fantastic. So it really makes you, you, you know, you want to do more and bring out a new album. So, you know. If, you have, if you're putting your restraints on performing, then you, you, can't, you can always play at the big festivals, but not any club tour, my guess is. Yeah, I mean, all gigs are cool, you know, whether is they're big or small. I think if the audience is there and come to see you, then it's an honor to do it. Let's do a roundup. Where's everybody um, his own project uh, busy with? I heard you got a, a new CD out of a couple of songs of yourself. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I, I released an album about uh, two years ago now, and I'm going to be soon working. On, well, I'm working at the moment on the second one, so I guess that's probably going to be out. March of next year. I don't know where it's going to be out. For the moment, we'd only got released in France the last, the first one. So you live in France? Yeah. That's that's what the popular music is for now. For you. Uh, I like living there. It's it's. Um, I didn't plan to live there for very very long. I planned to just go for a year, but um, things ended up working out. That I met people and ended up, you know, staying there for nearly ten years now. Well, mostly, if they say they met people, they met a girl. And then stay there. <laughs> True? Well, yeah. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> hey! Mark, what are you up to? Me? I'm a, I'm a family man at home, but uh, I do have a record out on a German electronica label uh, called Kook Music. Uh, it's by a band called Big Dog. And that's available now if you want to have a check it out. Big Dog is the band. Crazy electronica music. No, as far removed from the blues as you could possibly be. But my heart remains in playing the blues. That's what I enjoy doing the most. So. Roman. Um, I, uh, I, You're running uh, a porn site, aren't you? <laughs> you are? You're running a porn site. Yes. No, midget, midget porn. Yeah. Apparently. Just for Hugh. Yeah. Hugh thinks I'm running a porn site. <laughs> But well, it's just, made, that I made just, it just for me. Yeah, I, I made it just for you, nice. just yeah. just to keep him occupied. I like midget porn. On his long, I don't, I don't lonely know. nights. <laughs> um, <laughs> and John. Uh, what's the question again? Yeah. Do I like midget porn? Was it no? <laughs> Solar project. Oh yeah. Uh, well, uh, uh, I bought an album out about 18 months ago, so uh, it's probably about time I did another one. Not sure what I'm going to do next. Uh, I kind of make up my mind just before I make an album what kind of album it's going to be like, if you know what I mean. So I don't know. I don't know what next for me. I don't know. And Jesse? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play loud blues guitar all the time. All the time. Well, we, we, we spoke to Scott McKee and uh, Hanna, and you, you produce his record without seeing each other, he said. Yeah, well, I kind of work with Scott uh, and a few other sort of blues artists. and So I do, yeah, I do a bit of producing and, uh, yeah, Scott's cool. We booked you a couple of years ago, it was 12 years ago, it was in Guzbik, and there was a band next to you on the board, um, Mickey Moody and Bernie Marsden. We were talking about that earlier today, actually. Yeah? Yeah. And they did the gig with the two guitars. I seen you doing a couple of times that you bring it a, a notch ahead. You do now with three. <laughs> push you gotta push the boundaries. Yeah. You gotta yeah, push the boundaries. We did the two guitar thing a lot and then a lot of other bands kind of started doing it, so three. So next time if people start doing three, <laughs> it's four. four. <laughs> Alright Mike, we don't know the guitar play. Don't get me involved. My guess is five will be the limit. Yeah. <laughs> six. six strings, six players. Or maybe we'll get five. <laughs> maybe we'll get five people playing two guitars at once or something. How about five that might work. Multi-neck guitars, one of those um, Jimmy Page guitars. Yeah. No, I don't, no, we were on a <laughs> no, no people playing one guitar. <laughs> can that? Can we do that? We'll work on. I'm sure you can find a way. Just. We're gonna work. We're gonna end up. We're gonna blend it in with some uh, video work of you. So I'm playing for you and thank you very much and listen again to Blues Moves because you are always on our playlist. Love Blues Moves. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much.